Good guys, what's up? It's Big Hoss here. Um, I know it's been a while. It's been going on almost a month. I haven't really uploaded any videos. I um, just haven't really bought anything. Well, I've gotten a few things, but uh, just I tried to make a video and it was just kind of like I just wasn't feeling like it. I just it was just one of those things, man. I just needed, you know, I just been it's been real busy at work, so I really hadn't had the energy to do what I needed to do. There's a lot of stuff I've been doing, um, house related. So, um, one of these, I got a few things here that I'm going to show you. I mean, it's not just what's in this package. I mean, this, I've been waiting on it for about a, for serious, I've been waiting on this for a month. So it's really a lot I haven't put no videos out because things were getting delayed. So, um, just like that one L LJ and I kept telling you about that. I had an order like back in the first week of December. It finally came in like two weeks ago. And uh, I got two Hasbros. But it doesn't take long to get here. I just never got around to making a video on it. So, and the reason why is because my doll kind of tore up the box. The one that's out bow, the one I tell you about that's outside a lot. Um, the one that we've been taking care of. Yeah, he kind of got a hold of the box so I mean he didn't look he didn't tear up the figures it just it wouldn't look pretty trying to tear in that box but anyways this came in today um me and the dude that uh, the guy I purchased this from um was having a lot of issues apparently with shipping it should have been shipped here because he's only a state over for me so I should have got this thing in like three days it took almost a month pretty much um I kept emailing him and he was giving me excuses after excuses and you know I felt sorry I mean I was kind of like you know what as long as you give me my package man that's all, all I want to know is are you going to ship this thing and if you don't do it I told him I was like look the, the second third time I contacted him I was like look if I'm, I know things are going on I know I'm not trying to be pushy but I said man I've, I've paid for this thing already and it was like a month ago and you live just over, one state over from me I was like you're not far from me at all so I'm like this should have been here already and i was you know i was like you know i'm very understanding i mean i know that times are kind of rough and hard but i was like you know i paid for this thing and you know if i'm not gonna get this thing i'm gonna have to report it and i did and i was like i had to finally report them and say look where's my item and ebay will step in if you don't you know if you don't give me my thing i'm gonna get my money back they're gonna have to intervene with this and I was trying to work things out with him, and he was, I felt bad, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. And then dude sent me an email, said, well, let me know when you get it, please, and I'll uh, give you a full refund now. And I was like, man, I don't want a full refund, man. I was like, as long as you give me my thing, I, I'm okay with that, you know. I mean, I'm a very understanding person, you know, but just don't try to screw me either, you know. So it, it took a while waiting on this. I don't know how I'm gonna really open this thing because this thing's. All right, here we go. I just I don't understand. You know I understand that he he was telling me he was having a lot of issues going on and 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 I looked on his thing and I knew he had good reviews like he, he was he had a lot of positive reviews so I felt like you know he was being honest. some wrestling you know like some yeah it's wrestling cards this uh collection album thought this was pretty cool this is 80s collector's book that you would put your wrestling figure like wrestling cards in wow all right um I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna do this like how can i show y'all these cards i guess we can do it like this all right, let's see here. What we getting? Oh, all right, I can kind of. All right, we got Hulk Hogan. Oh, well, one of my Hasbro's. All right, we got Hulk Hogan here. Rick Rude, Ultimate Warrior, Demolition, Smash, Young Axe, Jake Snake Roberts, with Damien, Mr. Ted DiBiase with a million dollar belt. 
Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, Andre the Giant, Miss Elizabeth. Oh, he's got him on the. Yeah, this is gonna be hard for me to kind of. Let's try this. All right, I know it's close up. Uh, we got. Uh, let's see. I remember him, Barry Holt. He was a uh, pretty much a jobber. Paul Roma, Smash, another Hulk Hogan. Let me make sure. I'm... I know this is really maybe like that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure this is just not the way I wanted it to come out. But look, I just I don't know if I'm able to get it. But uh, you see what I got here. Um, I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna tell you who they are. I'm just gonna flip through them. And if there's one that catches my eye, I might say something, you know, but it's really hard for me to do this and show y'all, but we'll just go through them like this. I know there's like a glare, so it's really gonna be hard for me to show you all these, but these are really cool. Plus, I don't want this video to be really long either. I got a lot of stuff I got to do and show in this video as well and talk about at the end. I got some of the ring announcers, referees, and commentators. That's pretty neat. Uh -huh. It's pretty cool. There's some really cool uh, cards in here. Books, you know, slap full. That's a cool rocker one, too. That's a cool Hulk Hogan one right there. The iconic Hulk Hogan. All right, let me look through these myself because I. This is pretty neat. For like a macho man doing an elbow drop that's the kind of ones i like that's a good jimmy superfly off the top rope that's pretty cool um <clears throat> let's see there's bret hart doing a power driver that's pretty cool uh, hulk hogan doing the big boot at wrestlemania 6 the ultimate warrior There's the Ultimate Warriors, Andre the Giant. There's Dusty Rhodes. Um, there's another Andre the Giant where he's choking Jake the Snake Roberts. Yeah. The Rockers, that's a pretty cool little move they're doing right there. There's a picture of Hulk Hogan body slamming Andre the Giant. That's pretty cool. But there's no Macho Man doing the elbow drop, I don't think. I'd like to get a couple of those if I can find some. Sorry, my nose is running. I got some sinus. Ugh. That's pretty cool, though. But I got this off eBay. It's pretty cool. A little collector's album. All right, on to the last bit that I have here. I go ahead and hit up the LJN one. We got Hercules Hernandez. I found out why it took so long for this thing to get here. Uh, apparently, it came from Mexico. So, it's in pretty good shape. Um, the only thing I can say is where he's showing a lot of wear is on his uh, wristbands. It's starting to chip away. You know, he's got some scuff marks. <clears throat> but not, I mean, his face is pretty, I mean, in pretty good shape. It's not like paint coming off. You can barely see him. You know, he's... He's not in bad shape. Um, I didn't pay a whole lot for him. I bid it on him, and I think it was like, I didn't pay no more than $10 for this thing. So I got $10 for him, so it's not bad. Considering what I see him going for on eBay anyways. But uh, nobody bid it on it, so maybe somebody's like, well, it says Mexico, and I didn't see it down there. So, But uh, most people don't like to buy stuff that's like out of, out of the country because it takes forever for it to get here, which it did. It took this thing over a month and a half. I mean, I just got this guy, 
probably back in January the 20th, I think it was. So I hadn't had him too long, but he finally came in. So I got Hercules Hernandez. And then it was about time for me to get these guys for the Hasbros. The best, my favorite tag team of all time. The Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. Their action works. Um, good shape. Hawk. Does that stupid jump thing that I don't really care for, but it's cool. I mean, I got them. The only thing about these figures, action figures, are uh, each one of them's got just one spike that's broke on one shoulder pad. Same for Animal, he has one that's, where's that? I don't even see it. Maybe he don't have one. I know he does, because I'm about to say, I noticed it when I was, yeah, it was hard to see it. It's one of the black ones back there, but it, it's this one right here that's broke. But you can't tell. So that's usually the downfall for these. When you find them, they usually, are, their spikes are all broken off, and it's really bad where they got played with so much as a kid. Especially Hulk, he's using the one that's missing the most just because the jumping action, you know, usually messes up the nose, the paint, and all that on the face, and just everything else. Um, that's how I usually find the Ultimate Warriors with that jump, the jump one, the face, the nose, usually messed up. But, uh, yeah, this is the last few things I've gotten, and I'm probably not be getting nothing else for a while. Like I said, I'm just kind of, it's just, that's how it's been. I just haven't really been spending money on stuff. Like, I, you know, I just got stuff I got to take care of first, so. <clears throat> and like I said, spring's getting here, so spring will be here before I know it. I'll be going back to work using, you know, spending my money on stuff outside, doing work, yard work, trying to get the yard looking better, getting the grass growing. Um, I got to get the driveway done. Um, I got a lot of stuff I'm trying to save money up for now. I done paid my truck off. Um, Got a few bills I'm trying to pay down a little bit credit card wise because I was using my credit card um, to to help me save my money up so I can just go because I didn't have much left on my truck so I was kind of using my credit card to pay a few bills here and there. I usually just use it for gas and you know like every once in a while I might use it to buy something you know just for myself but I got a few things I got to pay on that but it's no nothing nothing major or anything like that. It's something I can pay off in probably like two paychecks so I mean, I'm not really worried about it. Uh, trucks paid off, so that's the good thing. So, um, only thing else I've gotten recently is um, the same guy that I got the little Hulk Hogan pop thing and those uh, whatever you call them, statue looking things. Um, the collectors, whatever it is, you know, the Macho Man or the Hit Man I got in there. Um, he hit me up and said, Hey, I got a bunch of old VHS tapes. Would you be interested in, you know, for five or ten dollars? Like, sure. And he gave me like 20 of them, so it's pretty cool. Um, I want to make a video of that, but I was kind of like trying to, I got to get into my closet so I can straighten that stuff out so I can get to the tapes that I have in there. I got some old tapes as well, and I was just going to keep them to a separate side till I make the video and then just combine them together. And that way I can show y'all the ones that I had as a kid and then the 20 tapes I got from them. Um, there's some stuff like the Beyond the Mat. Um, you know, some of the pay-per-view matches, and some of them I don't really care for, but some of them are pretty cool. Just, I don't know, I just, I was like, he's like, you want them? I was like, sure, I'll take them, so whatever. Because in my VHS collection, I have, um, a Jesse the Body Ventura VHS tape, um, there's a Shawn Michaels VHS tape, um, there's a Bret the Hitman Hart VHS tape, where he fights, uh, some good matches in there where he fights Stone Cold at Survivor Series. Um, <clears throat> this is when Bret Hart first came back after WrestleMania 12. He'd been gone for a while, took a little break. You hadn't seen him. Um, there's where he fights Psycho Sid, I think. Shawn Michaels kind of like interferes or whatever, gets in the way. Um, he fights like Vader. Um, you know, it's like he was getting, it's like during that time period when he started, like, I'm getting screwed out of everything, people keep interfering and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> let's see, uh, yeah, and Shawn Michaels VHS tape has that ladder match with Razor Ramon at SummerSlam, which I thought was the better one than the WrestleMania 10 one. Um, there is, uh, let's see, um, 
there's like a Colosseum one. They're all Colosseum, like whatever you call it. Um, but they're different ones, like the Action Zone. I got one of those. It's got like Undertaker versus Vader. There's a lot of Undertaker matches in that one. Um, Shawn Michaels versus Yokozuna, I think, or something like that. Um, I have one that's like Dead If In Your House kind of thing, and it's like got British Bulldog versus Bret Hart for the World Championship back in like 1995, during like uh, December or something like that. There's a lot of cool stuff, but anyways, um, that's what I've been up to. I know I hadn't uploaded much videos. I'm sorry, guys. It's just been kind of crazy here, I'm trying to get things done, and just I've just been kind of just burned out on things with work, and just been just it's just been one of those things. So I hadn't had time to really do anything. I really like I really do want to get around to making a video like an update towards the Team Mobile thing as well for y'all guys that watched my channel for just the Team Mobile stuff. I need to make some videos of that. I plan on maybe doing that maybe this weekend. I'm gonna try to get around to doing it. Just got a lot coming up. I got like CPR training I got to do for work. Um, I'm getting possibly possibly a promotion, maybe moving up to another department. I got an interview tomorrow for that at the same place where I work at the hospital. It's just going to move me into working day shift, which I won't be on nights no more. I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. I don't know if I want to take it. I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm still trying to decide on that. Um, and I mean, it's just a lot going on right now. Um, got CPR training that we have to do every just about every other year or once it you know it expires we have to do it um got March Madness uh, for most healthcare workers they know what that means that means we're I don't know if we're going to do it this year we didn't do it last year because of COVID um March Madness is where they do this crazy stuff where like all the stuff that you have to like for nurses uh like me it'd be like for the rhythms the heart monitor if I'm still doing this job by that time um, I might be moving on up into the office kind of type part of the hospital now. Um, I don't know if I want to leave my friends, my people. And also the pay's got to be a little, a little bit better than what I'm making um, for me to really want to take it. But really the reason why I'm wanting to take it is because it's on days, Monday through Friday. I get out of there at 4 o'clock every day. Can't beat that, 8 to 4. Uh, I just don't know if I want to take it. I don't know if it's going to be more stress for me that I don't want to deal with. We'll see. Because what I do now is pretty stressful at times. Um, but, yeah, that's what's going on right now, guys. Just to kind of give y'all a heads up. But, uh, uh see y'all later. Um, somewhere down in the com coming weeks or next couple of days, I'm probably upload another video. Hopefully, I can get some videos out there for y'all guys. But anyways, guys, hope y'all have a good one. Peace.